Hey guys, so it's about 1 in the morning right now, past July 4th. It's July 5th right now. I hope everyone had a good July 4th. Anyways, check this out, okay? So I'm sitting here on YouTube browsing the internet. I was on Reddit. I actually found this on Reddit. But um, I'm not doing a whole console versus PC video yet. I know I said I was going to do one a few weeks ago. Haven't really had the time to and all this other stuff. But check this out, okay? Just wanted to show this one thing. One of the many, many reasons why PC gaming is better than console gaming. And no, this doesn't have to do with graphics or anything like that. As you can see, I have many tabs open here. Let's come over to Amazon. Check out what's on sale. Square Enix Ultimate Collection Download. Price, 750 To be exact, 749 so this has five games. Just Cause 2, Kanan Lynch 2, Laura Croft, and The Guardian of Light. Sorry, I'm a little tired right now if I'm reading kind of oddly. <laughs> Supreme Commander 2 and Tomb Raider Underworld. And it even shows you how much each one would be if you bought them individually. The list price for this is 95 bucks. And how much did I pay? 750. After tax, I paid like a little over 8 bucks. It was like $8.18, something like that. I'm pretty sure you can download them directly from here, but they also give you Steam keys, so if you have Steam like me, you can redeem them on here. Check this out. Let's come over here. Let's see. Midweek Madness, Command and Conquer. Not into the series, but look, 75% off everything. Red Alert 3, 5 bucks. Uprising, five bucks. Kane's Wrath, five bucks. If you're a big fan of Command and Conquer, you probably have the series, but still, I ended up buying this Earthworm Gym package just because I wanted to play the games. But it's Earthworm Gym 1, 2, and 3D, eight bucks. But for that same price, I was able to get five pretty good games. Now, Just Cause 2, I've only heard good things about it. Kane and Lynch 2, you know, I didn't like the first one. The second one I played like 30 minutes of, but you know, came with a pack, might as well get it. Guardian of Light, I've heard very good things about. Supreme Commander 2, again, iffy things. Tomb Raider Underworld, if I'm correct, I believe that is kind of a reboot of the original. I think I played it, and I liked it. So really, all I was interested in was mainly Just Cause 2, and Guardian of Light, I thought I'd give a try. But why didn't I buy those games individually? <laughs> well, look, Guardian of Light is 15 bucks, double the price of what I bought this whole pack for. And Just Cause 2 is 12 bucks individually. So I paid about $8. I got these five games. And if this doesn't suffice right here, hmm, let's, let's look them up on GameStop, see how much people would be paying for the console versions. I brought all these up. Just Cause 2, let's see, pre-owned. 25 bucks on 360 or $18 on PS3. How much is it normally on computer? $12. Let's see here. Can Lynch 2, $9 on 360 used or on PS3. Digital download for PC, 15 bucks. Let's see. 15, that is correct, so, yeah, I guess you have us beat for that game, but, you know, honestly, Kane Lynch 2 is not that good of a game. It's, it's better than the first, but that's, that's not saying much. 15 bucks for this, it's digital download, of course, it's going to be the same anywhere. Supreme Commander 2, $18 here. Brand new and used, okay, it's only on 360 and PC. So, wait a minute, no. No, 18 used, 15 new. Okay, hmm, let's see over here. Oh, and I really don't care if you guys get that Steam key. By the time I put up this video, I'm going to redeem it anyways. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, let's come over here. 715 normally. Again, I've heard mixed things about that game, so... Not too excited about it, but whatever. And Tomb Raider Underworld. 13 bucks on 360, 13 on the Wii, 8 on PS2, 13 on PS3. 
Now it shows up as 20 bucks on here, but you gotta look at how much I paid. After tax, I paid like $8 for this. A little over 8 bucks. That's chump change for these five games. So, console fanboys, you're missing out on this. Oh, and I know you can just say, oh, I can pirate the game. Well, guess what? <laughs> You can pirate on PC too. In fact, you need a PC to pirate a console game. I'm not trying to promote piracy here, I'm just stating facts. And usually, it's easier to pirate a PC game than a console game. Just saying. So, we win with this too. Most of the time, it's just the same thing though. That's it. So, I probably still will bring up a whole you know, PC versus console thing. But, I mean, just check this out, guys. A little over eight bucks. Got five games. Two of them I really want to play. The other ones I'll mess around with later. But, you know, great deal right here. Console will not get this anytime soon. No way. Even if you look at, like, the one, two, three dollar PS2 games, they're all just, like, sports titles. So not even next generation. Anyways, I'll be having fun with my savings. I'll be saving my money. And console, I don't know what you guys are going to do. And I've had all the consoles. I used to like console more before, but PC's where it's at. Just saying. These are facts. 750 is a lot less <laughs> than what the other games are priced for on console. That's just it. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Savings. Gotta love him.